And it started off just wondering about areas like this, what about my camera and having wee ideas about what could you do with the potential because even though we're in the woods here in Nielsen Park, across the road is the schemes, we've got the hilltops, we've got overlooking all of Lanarkshire, so it's really just thinking what could we tell on a grand scale, a sort of indie epic. The result is Angry Young Men, a surreal comedy drama about a group of youths who form a gang to offset the dullness of their lives. With no budget, Paul put out a call for volunteers and found himself with a cast of 70. Although it was a slow process. Because it was unpaid, there was no real budget. It was just filming whenever the actors could get together and obviously with everybody having commitments with work and stuff like that, we were only really filming like once every like couple of months. Um, so I think that's why it took, took so long to get done. The film was close to halfway through when the pandemic happened, but rather than restricting their progress, lockdown actually helped. Working locally and outside when they were able meant the film was finished in time for the 2022 Glasgow Film Festival. Hopefully people see this and they can identify, look, here's what these people did with based on passion uh, and the ideas that they had with no money. What if we gave them some funding? What could be produced with a wee bit of extra uh, we bit extra attention and maybe just helping them out slightly and the next film which I'm writing just now and that's the plan. And the next film, can you give us any clue what, what it's going to be like? Is it going to be like this one? In some ways it will be. It's called Anyone Can Get It and it's going to be a sort of a scheme opera, not in a musical way, but sort of heightened emotions and quite high adrenaline, high action and quite brutal. So that's my, that's my plan. Polly McLean reporting Scotland, Hamilton.